Welcome back to Rachel's Fit Pilates. I'll be using a set of 10 pound dumbbells for the arm exercises today. So pick a weight that's a good challenge for you. And if you also have another set of a lighter weight, if you need to drop down, that's a good idea as well. Let's start with a warm up. So start in a seated position with your legs in front of you. You can have them bent. We're just gonna breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, centering ourselves here and getting ready to move. Now bring your arms straight out in front. We're going to rock back. So tuck that tailbone, roll back, and then come back up. Let's do this for five. So feel like you're tucking under as you come back. Stop halfway and roll back up. And again, rolling back, roll back up with the breath. We exhale as we come back and then inhale, return. Let's do it two more times. Good, now I want you to bring your arms up overhead and we're gonna draw those elbows down. So this is a nice warm up for the shoulders, reaching up overhead, drawing down, trying to keep that spine neutral. So what that means is not arching in the back as you raise those arms up. And with the breath here, we're gonna inhale as we come up, exhale as you draw those arms down. Good, now I want you to bring your arms straight out in front. You're gonna drive the elbow back as you rotate to one side come back to center and then do that twist on the other side and come back to center. We'll do four more on each side. So with the breath, we inhale as we come back and then exhale as you rotate. Make sure here that we're really rotating through the spine. You're actually turning, twisting, and you're not just bringing your arm back. Good, let's do one more on each side. Good, from here you can lie down. We're gonna warm up the abs and the legs. So put your legs hip distance apart, knees are bent, feet are flat on the mat. Gently press that low back towards the mat and then return to a neutral spine. So we'll go back and forth like this. Now you can also place your hand underneath your low back and then try to gently press into that. Sometimes that is a better way to understand the imprint and release positions. Let's do three more. So rocking back, using your abdominals, not pressing your feet into the ground to make that tilt happen. And let's do one more. Okay, let's place our legs into tabletop. So knees are over the hips. We're gonna toe tap. So tap one toe to the mat and then the other toe. We'll alternate right and left like this for 10. And for these, you can try to keep that low back pressed into the mat. So keeping that imprinted position as we tap the toes. Last one. Now extend the legs. So extend one leg out and bring it back and then the other leg and bring it back. Up to you how low you want to go. The lower you bring it, the harder it's going to feel on the hip flexors. If you want to point them up towards the ceiling, that might be more comfortable. So choose a comfortable height for you. Okay, let's bring the legs down and warm up the abs. So we're gonna support our head for these. So place your hands beneath your head, interlock your fingers, we're gonna flex up and come back down. So when you flex up, I try to look between the knees, not bringing the head too far forward. You're really just having your abs bring that head up and then come back down. Now when your feet are down, it's not as important to keep that imprint position with that low back pressed into the mat. But for me, when my legs are out, I feel more supported when I try to maintain a more imprinted position. Let's do two more. Okay, let's place the hands down. We're going to roll through imprint, come up onto the shoulder blades, we're up in a bridge and then we roll back down. Let's do two more. So rolling again, pressing that low back into the mat first, going up to the mid back and then onto the shoulder blades and then roll back down. Let's do one more, rolling up. Now here we're gonna stay, lift one leg in tabletop and we're gonna hold. See how that feels like more of a challenge for the leg that's supporting it. Let's place that down and go to the other side. Just a few second hold here. Place the foot down. Let's roll back down. 
Now we're gonna come back up and then do toe taps. So tabletop leg, tap the toe and come back up. Let's go for five and four, three, trying to stay level through the hips here. Tap that toe and place it down, stay lifted and we'll go to the other side for five. Great, place that foot down, let's come down. We are ready to go. So like I said, I'm gonna use 10 pound weights for my arm exercises. We're gonna be doing arm exercises in a bridge, but if you're new to lifting weights, I would choose a lighter weight for this. So starting with a chest press, your elbows will be bent by your side. We're gonna press up, straightening the arms and then return back to right above the chest. So let's go for 10. So pressing up, straightening the arms and then lower down. And with the breath for all the arm exercises, we want to inhale as we lower and then exhale as we press up. Good, we have two more. So that bridge is just helping us work the glutes a little bit here while we get the arm work. All right, now we're gonna turn the palms inward. We're going to go up into a bridge again, and then you're just gonna straighten your arms up towards the ceiling and then lower them back down. Now we're gonna add a hip drop and lift with that as well. So lower everything down and then press everything up. I find for combination moves that when you are doing two similar things, it's a lot easier to remember. So this arm exercise focuses on the back of the arm. So those triceps are working to straighten the arms up towards the ceiling. Let's do three more. Okay, next we're gonna go into a chest fly. So I'm gonna scoot away so I have more space by my wall. Let's bridge back up, palms are in. We open wide like going around a beach ball and then come back forward. Now we're gonna lift one heel and then lift the other heel. And we'll go for 10. So lower the arms, right heel lifts and left heel lifts. So just back and forth. You could just stay in a bridge if lifting the heels feels like too much but if you're fine with it, it'll give a little calf raise here for you. And remember, as we're lowering the arms, try to be controlled with it. It is easy to just let them go down, but we can build strength even in that lowering position if we do it nice and controlled. Good, okay, let's come down to rest. We'll take a nice long break after we do this exercise. So the last one, we are going to raise the arms up. Come back up into a bridge. You're gonna lower the weights by your face. Be very careful and then come back up and you can do a hip drop if you like as well. So lower and lift. So this exercise also works the triceps. So the back of the arms. I really love the two of these moves together because I really try to squeeze the glutes and then squeeze those triceps as they're straight. But if you're struggling to do both, you can just stay up in a bridge or stay on the ground for the arm exercise. Let's do four more. Okay, great, let's come down and rest. You can shake your arms out and then we'll move on to another round of exercises. Now, if you don't normally do arm exercises in a bridge, doing all those different positions that might seem strange, but to me, it depends on your goals. For me, I'm trying to get a quick workout in and work a lot of muscles all at once. I'm not trying to get as strong as I can like a bodybuilder. So it works for me and I hope it works for you too. So now we're gonna change our feet position. So put your feet into a V. So bring your heels together, toes are apart and we're gonna bridge up. Turn your palms away from you. We're gonna press up again. So pressing up towards the ceiling and then lower down, we're just gonna stay in a bridge for this. So let's inhale as we bring those arms down, exhale, press up. So our glutes are working in a different way with this foot position to be more turned out than we were before. And let's do two more.
Let's come down and rotate the palms inward. Now we're going to come back up into a bridge. And this time for the legs, we're gonna be bringing both heels up at the same time. So start with the arms down and then everything comes up and lift the heels. So straighten the arms up towards the ceiling as the heels lift up and we'll go for 10. Now, if bridging like this makes your low back hurt, remember the pelvic rocking we did in the beginning. You wanna do that same thing when you're in a bridge position if you feel pain in your low back. So trying to tuck under should help alleviate that pressure you may feel in your low back when you're in a bridge. All right, let's do one more and then come on down. Let's set the weights down and then stretch the arms out in between. I had to laugh at how awkward it feels to kind of stretch your arms out when you're lying down versus standing. It's like they don't really have anywhere to go, but you just try to do what you can do. Okay, so put your feet back into a V, heels together, toes apart. Let's bridge up and then we're gonna do the chest fly. So you're gonna open wide, lifting one heel, come back to center and then other heel and then come back. Repeat that for five on each side. Now, as we lift the heels, we're making it more unstable for ourselves. So still try to keep the pelvis level. If it feels uncomfortable in your low back as you lift up, you can just bridge or you can stay down for this. Okay, let's do one more and come down. Now, the last one we're gonna do is the skull crushers. Again, is what they're called. So let's bridge back up lowering those weights as we drop those hips and then press back up feet are still in a v so all these arm exercises are really pulling from strength training and then doing them in a bridge and with different feet positions like we do on a reformer or a mat that's what's pulling pilates into this finish strong and i'll give you a break we've just got five left Okay, great, let's come down and then stretch that out. So we'll do a 20 second rest. You can set your weights aside. I'm gonna go for a lighter weight for the third set. Okay, last round. And this time we're gonna really up the stability challenge. So grab your dumbbells. You can follow my lead if you wanna go lighter here or stay with the weight you've been doing the whole time. So let's bridge up, transfer all your weight to one leg. So you can lift the foot off the floor and then you can touch just for balance if you need to place it down. And we're gonna do that chest press again. So staying on that leg for five, four, three, two, and last one. Now we're gonna switch sides and then do the other one for five. Now, if this is uncomfortable in the low back or if you feel like you're rotating, can't keep those hips level, keep both feet down. Okay, let's come down. We've got three more exercises here and then we'll move on to ab work. So let's press back up into a bridge. Let's go five on each side. So we're going to drop the hips and drop the arms at the same time and then press back up. Let's go again for four and three, two, and last one. Okay, let's switch sides. So put that heel down and then go on the other foot. So lower and lift. Okay, let's come on down. We'll take a quick break. We'll move on to the chest fly. Okay, let's grab our weights and go into the chest fly so make sure you have enough space. Press up into a bridge, lift one heel up, and then we're gonna lower and lift and just stay in the bridge the whole time.
Good, last one. Now drop that heel and lift the other heel up for five. Try to keep the arms open wide here. The elbows just have a slight bend in them. Okay, let's come on down. From here, we have just one exercise left. You are doing great. Press up into a bridge one more time. Arms are up. Lift the heel up. The arms are gonna lower as the hips lower. Lower the heel, lift the other heel. We'll go for five and four. Really squeeze here. Three and two. Last one. Great. Let's set those weights down. We'll get a nice longer break here and go into some ab work. So you can sit up and stretch the arms out. And then I've got some great ab work planned for you. All right, let's get started. For our ab work, I'm gonna choose a light dumbbell for me. So I'm gonna pick five pounds. We'll be doing four exercises here. So just pick a light weight. So let's tilt that pelvis back into imprint. Legs go in tabletop. Now extend one leg out as the dumbbell goes up towards the ceiling and then alternate sides. We'll do this five on each leg. So extend out, arm comes up, bring it back. Extend the other and come back. Now how we can make this more challenging is bringing the legs lower. And if you need to make it a little bit less challenging, you can bring your legs pointing up towards the ceiling. So we've got the hip flexors working here and then the back of the arms, so those triceps again. Last one. Okay, let's put the feet down. And from here, we're gonna be extending both arms and legs out at the same time. So start with that dumbbell overhead. Legs come back in tabletop. Now everything's gonna reach out and come back in. Now, if that feels like too much, you can choose just extending the legs or just extending the arms. If you can, do both. So reach everything out and come back in. Now, it's not necessary to keep that low back pressed into the mat for this. So if you feel that low back starting to really arch here and opening up that stomach so those abs are not engaged anymore, then try to press that low back into the mat. We've got three more here. Okay, let's bring everything down. Set the dumbbell aside so that you can press up into a bridge. This should feel good on those hip flexors that we were working as we extend those legs out. Let's come down. Now take the dumbbell in one hand. The legs are gonna go back in tabletop and that dumbbell's gonna be reaching overhead. Use your other hand to support your head. Start with the left leg down and then flex up, touching that right hand, and then coming back down. The modification for this is using no weight. So let's begin. Flex up and lower down. And two, we're gonna go 10 on each side. Now for this one, as we flex up, I do try to keep that low back closer to the mat and then return to a neutral spine as you extend. So as that arm comes overhead. Now let your breath help you here. So we're going to exhale as we flex up, inhale lower. Exhale, flex, feel that contraction of the abs, and then lower down as you inhale. Good, two more, and then we'll switch sides. Put the dumbbell into the other hand. So I have it in my left hand now, legs in tabletop, and I'm gonna start with that right leg down. We're gonna flex up and lower down. Now the hand does support your head for avoiding neck strain here but try not to have that hand be pulling you up and not have the abs do as much work as they really should do. Good job, you're halfway there. Let's do five more. Great, let's set that leg down. Now we're gonna change the foot position. 
Now we're gonna bring our feet up, heels are together, toes are apart. We're gonna point as we extend those feet and then bring them back in. Now you can bring them higher up if that feels more comfortable for you or if you want more of a challenge, you're gonna extend them lower. And with a dumbbell, we're gonna press that up towards the ceiling and then lower back down. So let's go for 10. So extend everything up and lower down. And with the breath, we try to inhale as everything comes back in and then exhale as you press out. In a move like this, you'll be feeling it more in the hips than in the abs because we're not flexing up. If you've taken every former class, you know we do a lot of extending the legs out and even in mat work as well. So it's great to challenge the muscles at home here, strengthen them, get that endurance for class if you do decide to go in person. Great, let's break everything down and rest. You can bridge up, feel that openness through the hip joint. Let's set that dumbbell aside. We're gonna sit up and go into some sideline work. So gonna work the inner and outer thighs. So start by resting on your right forearm so you can mirror me and the legs are gonna be straight and extended in one long line here. Now you can grab one dumbbell so that we can do some arm work as we lift the leg at the same time. Let's start with the legs slightly separated. We're gonna lift up as we extend the arm and then come back to that starting position. Let's go for 10. So this is working into the outer thigh of that top leg, working the shoulder as we press up and then working the trunk, the side of the obliques as we are holding that position. Last one, let's set that dumbbell aside. You can place your hand on your hip, separate the legs, and then we're gonna do leg circles. So start by going backwards first and we'll go for 10. So small circles, point the foot for one and two, three. Stay lifted through the trunk here, through the length through the foot. All right, last one, let's bring the foot down. Then we're gonna go the opposite way. So lift that leg back up again, and then now going forward for one and two. You may be feeling this through the shoulder of the forearm that you're resting on, but staying lifted through that trunk will help you feel that you're taking some of the weight off of your arm. Great, okay, bring that leg down. Now we're going to work the inner thigh of the bottom leg. We're gonna keep those legs stacked together you're going to bring the top leg up, have the bottom one come to meet it, and then come back down. Now you can also bring that top leg behind, resting on the mat, and then just lift that bottom leg up as a modification. So let's go for 10. This is a really challenging one. It is hard to not sink through the trunk as you lift that leg up. And in the beginning when I tried this, I could probably go a few centimeters <laughs> of bringing that bottom leg up. So you can be humbled, yes, if it's hard to get that up, but another area for growth and something to work towards. Okay, now we're gonna bend the knees and then stack them right together. And then I'll show you two variations for this. It's gonna feel like a side plank. So if you have no issues with your wrist here, you can extend your arm out. It should be in the same line as your knees. And then we're gonna lift up and then we're just gonna hold here for 10 seconds. So the modification there is to hold on your forearm. If you feel it's difficult to get up, try bringing your hips forward. You may need to play around with it and get the most comfortable position that you can hold. Okay, now the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna lift up again, and then this time set your arm down by your hip. We're gonna lift up and hold here for 10. This is the exercise that we do on the reformer called star prep. So it's good strengthening to do it on the mat when you're not moving on a carriage. Let's come down and move on to the other side of the sideline. So grab a dumbbell if you like. We're gonna go now on the other side, so I'm resting on that left forearm, legs are stacked together. Separate the legs slightly. Lift the leg and lift the arm at the same time and then come back down, we'll go for 10.
great let's place the dumbbell down and then you can place your hand on your hip let's separate the legs and we do leg circles so we can go forward for one and two three four five try not to sink through that trunk three two and one bring that leg down to rest i know the top of that hip is burning we're gonna power through here so lift up and then now go the other way for 10. Remember, if you need to take longer breaks than what I give you, please feel free to pause at any time and return when you're ready. Rest that down. Now we're gonna work the inner thigh of the bottom leg. Remember, you can set that top leg on the mat behind it if you need to. So we're gonna lift up, have the bottom meet the top, and then come back down. So if you're modifying and have that top leg resting behind, you're just me picking up that bottom leg and bring it back down. For whichever version you're choosing, you still wanna be pointing those toes, feeling that link through the legs. Okay, whoo, that burns. You can bring your leg in and just feel that release through the top of the hip. And then now we're gonna move on to that side plank. So coming back up, having your hand in line with your knees, the legs are stacked right on top of each other. We're going to lift up and then hold here for 10. So this is just an isometric hold, so that means the muscles are working just to hold us in this position. Good, and let's come down. Let's just take a few moments to rest here and then we're gonna come right back up for our last exercise. So bring the arm now at the same height as the shoulder. And if you want, you can bring it down by your hip and then raise it back up. So up to you for these next 10 seconds. Great, let's come down. Now we're gonna work on some front type planking. We're gonna do it on the knees. So you can have your arms out in front, underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath the hips and they're separated hip distance apart. Tuck that pelvis under before you begin and then we're gonna come up. Now it's showing that variation too with the dumbbells. So lifting the knees off a few inches and hold here. Good, let's come down. Now we're gonna level it up. So you can either do that same thing for 10 seconds or you can bring one leg out and then keep the other leg in with both knees off. So let's tuck that pelvis under, come up, stay, or put one foot out and let's hold. Good, let's come down. And then now we're gonna go to the other side you should be feeling this also in your shoulders too. They're definitely working to help keep you up here. So let's lift back up. Now extend the other leg out and hold. The abs are really working here to help prevent that spine from extending. Then let's come down. You can sit back and stretch those arms out. I know mine are burning. So a little break here, and then we just have three more holds. Stick with it. I know this is challenging, but this is truly where you grow, where you feel tired and you want to give up, but you are going to stick through it, and then we'll get a nice stretch after that. Let's walk the arms back out. Now we're going to go into a push-up prep. So the feet are going to be further back. Knees are on the ground. You can use the dumbbells or go on your forearms here as well, and then lift up and hold. Bring the knees down. We just have two left and we're gonna be lifting one foot at a time. Bring those hips down. Then we're gonna lift back up. So lift the knees, straightening the legs. And then if you like, pick one foot up. You can keep both feet down. This is called a progression. So you have the choice to choose the first version or level it up to a more difficult version. Let's come down. We just have one exercise left. The next day after this, my shoulders, triceps, and abs felt quite sore. 
So let's come back up, lift those knees, and then hold the other leg if you like for 10. Come down. Okay, so swing out the arms first, shaking them out. I'm sure you did great. I'm so proud of you for making it this far and please take the time to do this stretching. It is so good for us and something that's often neglected. Let's start first by stretching out the shoulder. So in that quadruped position and then you're gonna thread one arm underneath and then we'll hold here. So your face will be resting on the mat and then that bottom arm has the palm up. If you bring the arm higher up and then sit into that stretch, you can feel it a bit through the lat, so through the side of your trunk, and that might feel good as well. Let's come up and switch sides, so let's thread the other arm through. You can rest with your face on the mat and then that lower arm it's going to be palm up. Let's come up and stretch the back and the abs. So we're gonna go back into that quadruped position and then you're gonna round your back so you can feel that nice length through the back, feeling that stretch there. And then drop your stomach so that you feel the stretch now through your abs. So extending that spine will allow those ab muscles to lengthen. Now take a breath in and then exhale, flex again. Holding here. and then drop that stomach, feel the stretch through the abs. Go at a comfortable range for you. You can rock back and forth or just stay still. Okay, now let's stretch the back of the arm so you can sit on your knees or sit with your legs extended. You're gonna bring one arm overhead, bend that elbow, and if you can, take the other arm and then try to reach for the hand so that you can deepen that stretch. It may take a few tries to get your hands facing the correct way to be able to kind of link them up. That happened to me. So no, you are not alone if you struggled with that as well. This is what keeps us young, right? We're working our brains and our bodies at the same time. All right, let's switch sides. So now you take the other hand, bring it overhead, bend the elbow, and then reach and hold. Great, now let's stretch the legs. So you're gonna extend the legs out in front of you and then keep some space between the legs. Your hands are gonna go in the center. You're gonna take a breath in and then exhale, start to roll down. Feel that stretch through the hamstrings, through the calves and through the spine. Good. take a breath in and then exhale roll up now we'll do a side bend we're almost done so you can sit on your legs or you can have your legs in front of you bend to the side so one arm comes up overhead and then just feel that length through the side that arm up and over and then we're gonna side bend to the other side I hope you enjoyed your time with me today. I'm so grateful for all of you who are interested in these Pilates and strength workouts. They're two of my favorite ways to move and it's not for everyone, but for those who do like it, 
I hope that you'll keep coming back. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Please hit subscribe on your way out if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.